Actor and musician Jussie Smollett from the hit show Empire was attacked and beaten early this morning in Chicago, and police say it could be a hate crime. Smollett told police the men yelled, This is MAGA, Make America Great Again Country. The actor took himself to a hospital. You didn't deserve, nor anybody deserves, to have a noose put around your neck, to have bleach thrown on you, to be called thy fat nick or whatever they said to you i i just heard about the horrible incident that happened with our little brother jesse swallow i just want to say this to little brother jesse that as a black man in this country that i'm down with you and i know a lot of brothers that's down with you you are better than that we are we are better than that. america is better than that this ain't about sexual preference or nothing. This is about coming to the aid of another brother that has tasted the brutality of hatred, racism, and bigotry. So we down with you, Jesse Smollett. However you want to handle this, we down with you. Hold your head up, Jesse. I'm with you. I'll be there in a minute. It's just another day in America. Jesse Smollett says that attack happened just a short distance from here. Today, police don't have any suspects or even a solid description of the men. There was supposedly a threatening letter that came to Jesse Smollett through the mail. And there's some question now as to whether or not that was true. On Wednesday, police arrested two brothers, Ola and Abel Os Osendero. Um, and they have found that those brothers know Jesse. A spokesperson for the Chicago PD said that new evidence based off the brothers' questioning has, in fact, shifted the trajectory of their investigation and that they'd like to re-interview Jesse as soon as possible. This entire story is so shocking and it's just so crazy, I almost think it's an episode of Empire. I still want to believe with everything that has happened that there's something called justice. Because if I stop believing that, then what's it all for? This thing started off everyone calling it a hate crime, and now police are wondering if Jesse Smollett kind of orchestrated this whole thing. But police are gathering evidence, right? But what do you make of all of this? And there is no doubt in your mind what motivated this attack. I can only go off of their words. I mean, who says empire? This MAGA country. And let's be honest, there are probably not a whole lot of MAGA fans watching Empire. Electric chair. And we learned this just moments ago. Police sources tell CNN that Smollett paid the two men to orchestrate the attack. Chicago's police chief will brief reporters later this morning ahead of Smollett's first appearance in court this afternoon. We can't defend them and not look at the other side like he did this. And Correct. it's looking like he did this actual terrible thing. Yes. And now it's even looking like he could have wrote the letter. If this is true, this is, in my life, the most deplorable violation of our trust yeah. that victimizes black people. This just doesn't add up. And if Jesse's story isn't true, he squandered the goodwill of a whole lot of people, and that's not cool. My mind is kind of like all over the place. If this is true, I, I'm embarrassed to have believed him. You know, I'm disgusted because I spent my entire career trying to protect victim. It don't look good. Yeah, that, right. that's, right. that's, that's not a good look. Right. It's Justin Diego back with another Ben Jordy video. And today, let's talk about Jesse Smollett and why he basically just ruined his whole career to prove a point and why he's definitely got to pay the price for what he did. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? Empire actor Jesse Smollett is now in custody in Chicago. He is facing a felony charge for allegedly filing a false police report claiming that two men attacked him in a hate crime last month. So this morning, I come to you not only as the superintendent of the Chicago Police Department, but also as a black man who spent his entire life living in the city of Chicago. This announcement today recognizes that Empire actor Jesse Smollett took advantage of the pain and anger of racism to promote his career. How can an individual 
who's been embraced by the city of Chicago, turn around and slap everyone in this city in the face by making these false claims. But this publicity stunt was a scar that Chicago didn't earn and certainly didn't deserve. First, Smollett attempted to gain attention by sending a false letter that relied on racial, homophobic, and political language. When that didn't work, Smollett paid $3,500 to stage this attack and drag Chicago's reputation through the mud in the process. This stunt was orchestrated by Smollett because he was dissatisfied with his salary. So he concocted a story about being attacked. I only hope that the truth about what happened receives the same amount of attention that the hoax did. It's crazy to me that Jesse Smollett would go through like all of this to prove a point. I have to say, like, I had my doubts from the very beginning, and I quite frankly assumed that this was nothing more than like some grinder hookup going wrong until it started to get all political. Like, it literally annoyed me seeing all of the people posting about like pray for Jesse on social media or like justice for Jesse Smollett because it seemed like too weird for me. Like, they act like he was like in critical condition or as if he had died or something but I knew better than to like publicly raise these types of concerns because you know at that point it was supposed to be a hate crime and my feelings about it was just way too personal but at the end of the day I honestly didn't care that much at all until I did now, the other day when news dropped about the suspects, I was like, um, wait a minute. These boys are definitely not giving me MAGA vibes, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But I still didn't anticipate Jesse Smollett doing like all of this just for attention. It's all just like way too much. And I feel bad for like a lot of people, like the victims of like these actual hate crimes, of course. But I also really feel bad for like all of you guys who are like publicly holding him down. Like, like he had Lee Daniels, he had like executives, he had all types of celebrities like rocking for him. And I wonder what happens next for like Empire and like everybody else on the show. Like we've heard rumors about them like phasing him out, but he has like a really important role on this show. And, you know, what are they going to do? Like send him off to rehab or something? <laughs> like this is like some serious stuff. And, you know, I even think about his brothers and sisters who are also in the spotlight. Like his actions are affecting so many people. Now, to be clear, this is definitely very serious stuff. And police are certain that Jesse Smollett absolutely tried to fool all of us just to get attention. Like this is not a theory. Like they actually have evidence that he actually misled all of the American people for his own financial gain. Now, I was shook when the officer said that they definitely like have the actual check that Jesse used to pay those boys $3,500 $3, to go through with this stunt and to me like they should have raised their price if the <laughs> if them getting caught could like lead to them getting into all this trouble but you know like in all seriousness it's just like speaks to how like stupid the whole damn thing was and you know I think that is weird that they shared the news about like the wounds on his photo like we thought like oh you know those wounds are a little light but they blew the lid on it and said that those wounds were actually self-inflicted like that takes things to like a whole nother level of crazy and i'm really uncomfortable Empire actor Jesse Smollett appeared in court Thursday after surrendering to authorities in the early morning with one felony count of disorderly conduct for following this false police report. Now, the judge set his bond at $100,000, which in my opinion was fairly low. Like he had that, well, maybe you don't have it if he's paying these fake MAGA people $3,500. <laughs> but anyways, he, he paid his bond and he was out like around 4 p.m. today. So when he left the jail, like he didn't speak to anybody. Like he was blocked off you know by his really big bodyguard and he just looks so pitiful to me like you know i'm trying to be mad at him but it's just like <laughs> 
At this point, he knows how stupid he is and I'm sure he regrets it. Now, he isn't due back in court until March 14th and that's whenever he's expected to enter like some sort of plea. But I want to know, like, what do you guys expect to happen now? Like, do you think that he deserves to be treated or um, charged like you know, with a hate crime because he made up all that stuff? Or do you feel like we should look at like his alternative goal for all of this and maybe a small piece of him wanted to actually like, help people who get mistreated now thank you guys so much for watching this video definitely be sure to chime in the comments and let me know what you think about this case because i have a feeling that this is going to be something that we're going to be talking about for a pretty long time thanks again for watching i will see you guys on the next one